It's amazing. You know, when I came down here the first time, the thing that struck me is the seaplanes are everywhere. The city flag is a seaplane. The park benches in the park are seaplanes. The back of it are the wings of the seaplane. All of the light posts in downtown, a couple of them in the park here, have hanging plants. In the lattice work for the plants is the seaplane logo. It's amazing to see so much buy-in and it be such a part of the community. And that's something that really makes us unique here. The buy-in from the community and the support from the community for the seaplane theme is fantastic. It's something that I have never seen anywhere else. The city of Tavares is America's seaplane city. Tavares is just amazing. We are in America's seaplane friendly city and these guys have just been tremendous in redeveloping their entire local economy around seaplanes. It's just a model community for us and they actually have had 22 new businesses open since they've rebranded the city as America's seaplane friendly city. They've had a large public investment, as you can see looking around here, of public money developing the seaplane base, the park. We have an aviation themed children's splash park. It opens today for the season. It'll run during the summer. Uh, our seaplane base is tied in with our boat marina, a 60 slip marina, our public park here with docks for boats and seaplanes. As part of that visioning process to develop this, they installed an event pad. They put electricity and water in the ground so we can support events. They enhanced the shorelines to make it a nice grass beach to be catered for aircraft. And right now we're in the process of doing that at the other end of our facility to expand out the area that's capable of supporting the seaplanes. This is the airport for Tavares. We have a virtual runway out on the lake. We have fuel services on the water and on the apron. We have our ramp up to the apron parking. And it's great because once the pilots are here and they see it, touch it, and they feel it, they come back and they're interested in it. Every now and then we get a person who's never been here before. Every time we get one of those, it's always amazing to hear the, the stories about how where they're at home, they don't have options like this. You can either, if you're an amphib, you can land at a regular airport or you can land in a lake and hope that there's a dock that can accommodate you. There's not something like this. So that is what really makes this place unique. What we're doing is we're flying other community leaders in from around the country into this community and sitting down with them and explaining how they can replicate what they've done here at uh, Tavares. Today it's Seaplane of Palooza. So the city of Tavares, we've done a spring fly-in and a fall fly-in every year since at least 2012. We decided this year to try and do our normal fly-in, which usually happens later in the spring, just before Sun and Fun, and worked with them to promote it. And we can see now that we're attracting a lot more seaplanes than we normally would. There's a black and white Husky, a red and white Cessna 182, an amphib mermaid. We got a lake amphibian, a beautiful red, white, and blue CB. There's a red and white Super Cub, a Husky, and two Sea Rays on the ramp right now. Yeah, we got quite a variety here. So today we have a lot of seaplanes that are coming and going. We're gonna have our library director who uh, dresses up as Amelia Earhart, reads children's stories in character. I was and then this afternoon, the seaplanes have the option of going and competing in our contest. So we do a shortest takeoff contest. We're hopping along the water, looking to break water as soon as possible. And that was another great time. He's up in the air, great performance. Wow, look at that, that's gonna to be tough to beat. We do an accuracy landing and a spot landing contest. You know, the control it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh wow, look at that. They're looking to touch down a bit of a flare. They're gonna hold it, hold it, hold it. They're gonna go right past the buoys. Very nice, very nice. And everyone's favorite is the melon bomb drop, where we put a large buoy out in the lake. We give everyone cantaloupe. Does this sound like a bullseye? Mount them up. These will explode real well. There's some nice melon. Pick a winner. I'm picking squishy ones. Everyone gets a couple of cantaloupe. They come down at 200 feet, toss the cantaloupe out the window, try and hit the buoy. There are some pilots with good aim, and uh, we'll see how the buoys fare today. There it is. It's out, and bing! Coming across in the husky, bombs away, and ooh, another good one. There it is, bombs away. Oh, that was pretty good. 
And bombs away. Bombs away. And there we go. There goes the bomb. And We see a lot of growth right now. We see a lot of uh, commercial operator expansion in the seaplane market. But as you can see here with uh, the Sea Rays and a lot of the LSAs, uh, there's a lot of activity. When you walk around Air Venture today, if you look at the new aircraft coming out, 80% of those aircraft are either seaplanes or seaplane compatible. They can be retrofitted with floats. So it's very exciting for us to see that the manufacturers are really looking at seaplanes for the future. This is my new pride and joy. This is a 1946 Cessna 140. This is a can-do airplane. This is an airplane that'll prove to you that you can afford a seaplane or to be engaged in general aviation. This is a $25,000 airplane is what it cost me. With the floats. With the floats. You can tell when someone gets out of a seaplane because they're grinning from ear to ear and it's the seaplane smile. And, and so that is one of the most important advocacy things that we can do is get people exposed to them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seaplanes are a magnet, as, as you see here at, at Tavares, at the Splash Inn. The community will come out and, and want to learn. And it's one of the ways where we can engage, where at general aviation airports, typically there's fences. So we can't get the general public engaged in aircraft like we can at an event like this, where they can walk right up to the airplanes. So it's great to see so many people here at American Seaplane City.